Well, hello again and welcome back to my channel and the start of learning another brand new skill with this workshop, installing some UPVC windows. Now, if you've seen any of the earlier episodes, you know I actually managed to get these out of a skip. They're pretty new, to be honest, uh, and always ask permission before taking them. And um, I thought they'd come in really handy. So when I built the modular sections, I've uh, incorporated a frame for these three windows. They're all the same size. Um, now, one thing I will say very early on, actually, before I even start this, my YouTube friend, uh, Carl Pope from Carl Pope Woodcraft, got in touch and said, have you got the sills to go with them? Which is something I've never even thought of because he fitted some UPVC windows and he got some water in ingress, is it coming in? Water coming in uh, because he didn't have the sills fitted. Now, I looked at the ones I did get out of the skip and on one of them, there was um, a sill, but not on the other two. So I managed to get hold of a couple off eBay. They were only, they weren't expensive. So I'll leave a link in the description if anyone's interested. And along with them, with the, uh, the old side fittings as well. So I think I've got everything to do. The plan is this. Um, I held off putting these on initially because I've had some quotes for some electrical work, uh, which is now I've picked one contractor and that's getting done in about three weeks. And, um, I didn't want to, I can't put any cladding or anything or the Tyvek wrap on uh, or anything like that. But the side where these windows are going, there isn't going to be any cabling going there because on the other three sides is where the sockets and stuff are going to go. So I'm actually okay to put the Tyvek wrap and put the windows in on this side. I've got one at the front and two at the side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the plan is this, is to cut out the USB uh, pieces where the windows are going to go and then going to wrap that part of the building in the Tyvek wrap which you can see at the back the breathable membrane and I've got some of the tape for that as well and that's going to be stapled on with my Aldi uh, Ferex nail gun so once the wrap's on, how am I going to actually go about doing it? Well, it's going to be a bit of trial and error, but we'll see how we go. Uh, so what have I got to do it? Um, it's like being endorsed by Aldi today. Well, I've got my reciprocating saw jigsaw thing uh, from uh, this one's a work zone. I've got my brand new Ferex drill driver, which I picked up for £20. I thought I've got to try that because... I've been that impressed with their impact driver, which I've had for two years now. Uh, this is an incredible piece of kit. It's the, by far the best value budget tool I've ever bought. Okay, I've driv driven thousands of fixings with this thing and it just keeps going. It's going to break on me today, isn't it? Uh, so I've got that impact driver. I have got my expanding foam and gun. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, I've got my level. Okay, just to double check. Uh, I've got plenty of spacers, packers, those kind of things. So I think it's like five mil, I think, around the outside is the plan. And, oh yeah, I picked up a pair of these, um, which might come in handy. Uh, these aren't the £150 ones, by the way, uh, before you ask. Uh, but I think just in general use, I think these will come really handy for me. Uh, almost like having an extra arm in some circumstances. So I think that will be good got the fixings I think that's about it so I'm just gonna pace myself and crack on with it and see how I get on all right wish me luck Let's get the sander out, I reckon. Right, 
Morning. Um, not going to mince my words yesterday. Progress was slow. Uh, any um, chronic pain sufferers out there, and I know there are, because uh, I've had individual conversations with you guys, will know sometimes, with all the will in the world, with all the best intentions, it just gets a grip here sometimes, and you have to listen to your body and go, no. So, anyway, another day. Uh, but we have got the... Um, OSB cutout done, so I've got three of them done, which is excellent. And Pam's dad is coming around today to help me, so I'm going to get the Tyvek wrap on this part of the building. One thing I have noticed, though, and I'm going to do something about it now, is this space between the OSB board and the frame for the windows. I'm not happy about that, even though potential of moisture getting in there. So I have got some silicone, and I'm going to run... A uh, good bead around there and then get some fixings to screw that in to make it nice and watertight. That is job number one. And then hopefully, let's be realistic about it today. Let's get the tie back on, see where we're at and worry about the rest later. Okay, let's see how we get on. Morning, uh, we're into day three. We got the bit Tyvek that we could. An absolute huge thank you to Pam's dad and niece, uh, Dave and Mia, uh, for coming around yesterday. Well, everyone getting involved at one point and helping out. Certainly isn't a one-man job. Certainly isn't a one-arm, one-man job anyway. So, um, but it's great to get that up. One thing I did learn is uh, this was too powerful. Okay, it was actually just ripping straight through it. So we just, after much, Fine. It took a while to find it, like, found my stapler. So, use one of them and not one of them. All right. Um, yeah, so, on to the next stage now. Probably about getting the sills and the windows in. And so much so, for the first time since I care to remember, I've made a list. Now, I'm following, and I've been following for a while, Ali Dymock's uh, channel. So, uh, following his guidance on installing these windows. Uh, if you haven't seen his channel, and if you want to learn how to do this kind of thing, don't watch this video. <laughs> watch it, it's much better. So what's my list say we've got to do? We've got to um, cut away the Tyvek, 
where the window is. Okay, and then apply the flex tape onto the sill, um, which is this stuff. I couldn't get the thicker stuff, but I think this stuff will do. Um, put the edges on the sills. So I've got to super glue them on, level the sill, silicone, silicone the sill on, silicone the window to the sill, pack the window, screw holes to fix the window, put a bit of silicon into the holes, fix in place with expanded foam. Easy, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Anyway, right, let's see how we get on. We're in. Now, because these were taken out of a skip, um, they've obviously been drilled before. Now, I don't know if these holes are in the right location, but I think it's better to go with the existing holes that are there than drill new holes, which might run a greater risk of some leaking further down the line. But one thing I do need to remember is 
bit of silicone in the holes before the fixings go in. So I'm just gonna sort that out now. I've packed the bottom and the two sides because I've got my little thingy clamp on here and there's quite a gap at the top. So I'm gonna do these three first. Uh, keep checking that it's plump and then um, take it from there. All right. Which brings us to the end of this episode and another huge learning experience actually installing windows. I can't believe I managed to get through that and I'm really happy with the end result. Huge thank you and please follow Ali Dymock's channel if you're thinking of doing a garden room, which I'm sure you already will be anyway. A uh, few things to take away from this, which is kind of non-workshop related really is uh, I've touched upon it in the social media particularly in Instagram that I'm currently in the middle of a what's called a pain management program with the fantastic staff at the uh, Walton Centre here in Liverpool the neurological centre and it's kind of um, a physiological psychological occupational therapy approach to managing pain and my condition and it made me realise that the kind of coping mechanisms I've put together over the last few years are just completely and utterly fundamentally wrong. I think it's, uh, they describe it as a boom bust style of living that you really just push through because that's what you do, you've got to get it done. And by, in order by doing that, you end up making your, your condition so much worse over a period of time. So the, the concept of pacing is something that I've brought to this part of the build, installing the windows, and I certainly will be for the rest of it. Um, any future project that I take on. In this instance, I made it a list and went through them. And it made me realize how many stages there are in order to complete something like this. And this pushing through and just getting on like you would do if you were, you know, normal able body is something. But uh, when you're managing a when you're managing a chronic pain condition, and I'm sure you guys will know folk out there who suffer with chronic pain, and I've spoken to some of you uh, privately via email and messaging and stuff about chronic pain, and it can be so debilitating is the word I'd imagine. Um, and I haven't been doing myself any favors by trying to mask over that and not facing up to the reality of the situation, which I'm learning to now and over the coming years, uh, I will be. Um, but it's something I'm going to take on board with uh, any builds and future projects. Um, the concept of pacing, just doing what you can do, stepping back, doing some stretches, going, having a brew, resting, going back. If you can't do it, move on. Now, for any of you guys, this would probably be a day's job. Um, now, obviously, I got the help from uh, Dave and Mia with the, the tie bet wrap and getting this on. But it's taken me the best part of nearly five days. 
uh, to complete this part of it to getting the windows in um, which is a long time but do you know what so what do you know I think even like maybe a year ago I probably would have pushed through made myself worse get caught up in that cycle of pain lack of sleep lack of you know I'm waffling on now but it, it's it's interesting because I'm right in the middle of this course and it was really reflective on me in this part of the project and certainly will be in in the coming weeks months and years uh anyway folks thanks very much as ever for watching really appreciate you taking the time to watch some of the stuff on the channel as ever take care uh, look after yourselves and i'll see you soon thanks very much